fingerprints. They're used for everything from unlocking phones to gaining entry into a new country. Now, Visa is letting consumers pay with them. Our biometric cards can allow for you to replace pen and signature by using biometric credentials. The company is testing new cards that have built-in fingerprint readers. A user's fingerprint is compared against a previously registered pattern and used in tandem with the card's chip or contactless functionality to process transactions. The card is trained to use your biometric thumbprint, and since your thumbprint is unique, it can only be activated by the individual that's trained the card. And it falls back to pen and signature if, if you're, for instance, sharing your card. Visa is not the first to explore biometrics. Last year, MasterCard began testing a fingerprint-enabled card at pick-and-pay stores in South Africa. Not having to provide a signature or PIN number is convenient, but is it secure? Anil Jain conducts extensive research in biometrics, creating fake or spoof fingerprints. We have shown that we can do a fairly good job in, um, in detecting spoofs versus real fingerprints. And I think in most of the cases, it's the, it's the issue of how, how to raise the bar for the hacker so that it is becoming more and more difficult for the hacker to attack the system. No security system is foolproof. The idea is to make it as difficult for an imposter to, uh, to use it. Jane says additional biometrics can be implemented for major purchases. If you buy a $100,000 purchase at Tiffany's, maybe they'll ask not only your fingerprint, but your face matching and some other things. But if you're buying a $2 hamburger, you know, who cares? According to Jane, biometrics are here to stay, especially as hardware and software costs decline and consumer adoption increases. I mean, we post our photos on all the social media sites, right? Don't, don't post your fingerprints also. You know? <laughs> A bit of common sense for technology that's becoming more and more common. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.